proof the training is needed as each year about 115,000 veterans transition from the military to the classroom. Since the first boot camp more than a decade ago, this program has helped more than 2,000 veterans get a head start in higher education. I should have done this before college. That would have been way more beneficial than doing it in the middle. So do WSP um, beforehand. It's great. It's going to help me still. Mark Kudorobles, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. If you know a person or organization that's making a difference in the lives of veterans, tell us at abc7.com slash salutes. You can also join the conversation in the ABC 7 Salutes Facebook group. And thank you for joining us for Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. Tune in for Eyewitness News at 11 o'clock tonight here on ABC 7. Now we go to World News Tonight with David Muir. Have a great night, great weekend. Tonight, major developing stories as we come on the air. At least eight tornadoes slam the Midwest as we're tracking new tropical threats off the coast. And former President Trump moves to capitalize on that historic mugshot. First, at least five people dead, more than a half dozen tornadoes striking the Midwest, hundreds of thousands without power, and tropical storm Franklin churning in the Atlantic. High surf and rip current dangers along the entire East Coast. What the hurricane hunters saw when they flew through Franklin. And another possible storm threatening the Gulf of Mexico. Rob Marciano timing it all out. Former President Donald Trump and the mugshot seen around the world. His campaign now quick to use the image to raise money. And what President Biden is now saying about that photo. Aaron Katursky reporting. The Maui fires tonight for the first time officials making public the names of the 388 people still unaccounted for. Officials combing through the devastation as the first wrongful death lawsuit is filed against the power company. A Marine Corps fighter jet goes down in California. Dozens of emergency personnel responding after reports that the pilot ejected. Late details coming in. Breaking news tonight on what brought down Russian mercenary boss Yevgeny Prigozhin's plane. Sources tell ABC News it was likely a bomb planted before takeoff. What we're learning. Saved by a note, a kidnapped woman's quick thinking and the help of a good Samaritan leads authorities to the victim and a suspect. What was her desperate plea? The new vaccine booster ready in just weeks for tens of millions of Americans. COVID cases and hospitalizations on the rise, already spoiling the start of the school year for some. The heart-stopping new images tonight of that cable car and the daring rescue in Pakistan. And America strong tonight, 60 years after the March on Washington, a look back and a look ahead. people killed as a new round of dangerous weather targets the center of the country. An EF1 tornado with winds up to 110 miles per hour touching down near Grand Rapids, Michigan. Homes, businesses, and cars damaged. Hundreds of trees down. Dangerous lightning across the area. At the height of the storm, about one million customers without power. And potential new threats are now taking shape as the hurricane season heats up. A new system now taking aim at the Gulf, and Tropical Storm Franklin is moving north in the Atlantic, bringing rough surf to the East Coast early next week. Amid all of this, tens of millions of Americans are under heat alerts heading into the weekend. ABC